Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. Today I'm going to paint a door that is used for inside Castle Grayskull. And uh, if you don't know what it's for, you can actually buy it on my Shapeway store, just like this. It comes white. And it's kind of a cool idea is that it actually has this ring that fits right into the castle. And it fits right into that open spot where they made that uh, spot to uh, put the Wind Raider, which nobody really likes that spot. People have made all kinds of things to cover it up. So this was my fix, make a square door for a round peg. And uh, there it is. So you can see my paint's lined up. I have them in order from uh, darkest to lightest. And my goal is to have kind of this wood grain look when I'm all done painting it. You can see the wood grain on there and how to make that pop. So the first step is to start with black. So I'm going to take my black and we're going to paint the whole entire door black completely. Let me just stick some paint in there. Grab my brush. And just coat this door completely in black. Every single crevice, every single spot. Now the hardest thing is to get right inside those lines. And that's the trick, is to get all those little open crevices full of this black paint. Work that brush in there, get every single crevice covered in black. All right, let me get some more black paint. So I'm running out. Push this door back in place so it stays. Now you want to make sure this black is thin enough so that we don't actually uh, get the crevices filled with black. We want all the spots filled, we don't want them filled in so that we can still see the detail when you add the other colors on. The other brown, we add the browns and stuff. So coat it completely, but you don't want to fill the gaps in with black paint. Make sure you get all the edges, all the way around. If you get some on the bottom, it's okay. Our goal is not to paint the bottom in this instance. Some people will paint the bottom, but you don't have to. I mean, it's not going to be seen. It also might change the way it fits onto the castle if you paint the bottom too much. It is a nice tight fit. I measured the hole with calipers when I created it. I used that same exact measurement to uh, make sure that it would fit just right. All right, let's clean the brush on the side of this cup here to get all the extra paint off. And let's just rebrush this to get any extra thickness out of those grooves.
All right, first coat's done. Let's let that dry and I'll come back and we'll start adding our other coats on. So my black paint is all dry. That's how it looks now. And you can see the kind of texture on there. So let's go ahead and do our first brown. The first brown I'm gonna do is this dark brown. Let's go ahead and put some in the cup there. Give it a shake first. And we're just gonna put it on the edge of the cup so I can use this cup for more than one brown. There we go. And we're gonna use a little bit wider brush for this as well, being that we're gonna coat most of this with that brown. Now our goal is to try to keep this brown out of the, the deepest crevices. So you wanna put a light coat on the brush itself. And you pick it up and you just brush it on over the main boards. It's okay if it mixes with the black, not that big of a deal. We're gonna go back through when we're all done anyway and paint some more black on over the parts that are supposed to be metal, but try to avoid them if you can. All right, so that's how it should look, something like that. That's what we're going for. Just that brown on there. Now let's go to our next color. Melted chocolate brown. Want to use a little bit of this just to kind of offset, get a little bit different texture in coloring. Now let's go to the next brown. And this is, uh, I call it dark brown, but actually it's lighter than the last one.
right, now I want to change to a different style of brush. This brush here has been hardened so that it can't uh, get into very deep grooves. Here's our next lightest brown. Now we'll go with our lightest brown. This is the one that will sell the final wood look. All right, that doesn't look half bad. All right, we'll let it dry, and then we will um, reapply some black onto some parts of the hardware. All right, see you guys in a few minutes. All right, now to put on our final coat of black. And my black paint right here just waiting to be used. Let's go ahead and get a nice small brush. This will be used to reapply the black to all the hardware. Now some people like to leave some of the brown on the hardware because it kind of a rusty look. Um, I've done it both ways. This one I'm going to actually paint all black again. I kind of don't want the rust look so just bear with me while I paint this all black again.
All right, that looks pretty good. That's what I'm looking for, that nice black hardware on the door. All right, my next step now is to go down and clear coat it with a bunch of clear coat. Just clean up some of this a little bit to make sure it all looks good. One little spot right here. There we go. All right, I'll be right back after I clear coat it. All right, now my door has been clear coated. You can see now how it looks. Nice brown finish. I'll put it in the castle so you guys can see exactly how it looks in the castle next to an action figure.